random wildlife. I tried to be a healer as a retribution paladin in retribution gear. It worked out well enough, I suppose. Huh. This was an ogre place before, I remember. Nothing here now. wonder why. Maybe it's phasing. Anyway, let's wander up here. I'm gonna look over there. Let's have a look over here. I just remember one of these places were called, you know, abandoned. Um. Oh well, it doesn't work here. There's random demons down here. Um, I know one of the places was like you know abandoned Kintor Island or something. I just want to see which was anything else. Yeah, there's just random demons around here now. Just two. It's like they fell off from above or something. That's not the case, certainly. But kind of makes put that image in my head. Which part of me finds rather funny. It's like, oh no, it's a fearsome illegion. Beware, they may fall off your platforms and impudently stand below you, waving their fists grump mildly grumpily. Oh no, whatever shall ye do? Oh news. And there's piss all here. Huh, we're now considered back in Deadwind Pass, even though we're right above ZG. Should drop down in there and see what's there. Sometimes if you enter in, into an instance, not through the portal, but to, like just fly in, you actually get to see a different thing. Like if you enter into uh, Zuo Amon. No. Uh, where's the place in Tenaris? Uh, Zuo Farak. And just fly in, you'll see a ton of trolls just dancing on the steps of the pyramid in there. Okay. Uh, categories over here. Ooh, and there's an elite over here. Might be down below, though. You think I've seen him by now? Fuck. He's on buildings. Oh, he's not actually marked as an elite. Let's help take him down. Wait. Is, is that actually a player? Let's try not get hit by that. It's Vampiric Cleave. From the sounds of it, it'll probably heal him if I do. And of course, annoyingly, he can't be stunned. Meaning my heal thing won't do nearly as well. Heal. This, this. Come on, engage. Okay, I have to get another heal thing off. Res. Christ. Uh, let's. Let's move away. Remember to that Archmage in the. Uh, remember when I did those re recorded videos um, on my debt, debt night? Uh, I did mention an Archmage that was studying the um, Orc's condition. That's the statue of him. He was killed by Artis. And the spirit was put to rest, as far as I know. It was a secondary objective to do so in a um, quest in uh, in um, the uh, Warcraft Tree uh, Frozen Throne when you're playing as Prince Kale before his uh, descent to madness and all that. Ah, oh, just got some nether shards. Cool. Never a boring day here in Azeroth, now is it? Hmm. Huh. Didn't notice this before. Little cubby. Um, uh, anyway. Little pa Pandaren uh, water spirit. A shoe. Anyway, I'm relieved we both made it out of Karazhan in one piece. I, I shored up Karazhan's defenses as best as I could, but I've little confidence they'll hold. We've other matters to focus on in any case. Gul'dan has sent his demon dogs loose upon uh, has set his demon dogs loose upon Dalran. He wants the city gone, 
but we're not going to let him have his way. I, excuse me. I believe Dalaran will become the focal point of her campaign against the Legion, neutral ground where the heroes of every kingdom can join together against her mutual foe. Let's get to work, pal and I. Let me just take a quick swig. Clarification, in case you don't know what the fuck that means. Quick swig of cola. You know, take a quick drink, that kind of thing. Uh, down, uh, anomalous uh, anomalies. Probably wants to say that's a reference to something, but maybe they're just trying to make a funny quest name. Anyway, down, uh, maybe it's anomalous material. <laughs> no, it, that's a half-life level. Excuse me. That just popped to mind. Anyway, Dalran's move to this location was intended to be a temporary measure, but we may need to depart sooner than expected. Uh, blinking a city across the world is no mean feat. The magnitude of energies involved can lead to unexpected side effects. Uh, arcane anomalies are causing mischief throughout the city. Their presence could destabilize any attempt to blink again. We don't have time to, dis dis to let them dissipate on their own. I have a device that will help speed things along. Uh, Mage, Mordara, and I will continue examining the tome we covered from Karazhan. We will find those pillars, uh, Pal and I. Hmm. That gives me an idea. We'll discuss it when you handle those anomalies. Useful for cleaning up... Oh, it's unstable energy. No, different thing. Uh, useful for cleaning up res uh, residual anomalous energies associated with teleportation of large objects. Warning, overuse may rip holes in the fabric of reality. That's reassuring. Uh, ooh, blast wave, cool. Uh, molten armor causes fire damage to attackers. Chance to receive critical hit reduced by five percent, and the armor is gone. It's back now. Uh, chance to critically strike spells increased by three percent. Look here, I'm just I'm just a maintenance guy, alright? Alright. Yeah, I was kinda wondering why I could target a fucking demon. And I can't unstable energy is the wrong thing. Maybe I should do a thing running through the Vile Hold. Just record a quick run through that. So for a region, it, when it gets changed, it, you know, you already know what it looks like. Actually, one thing. Can I actually access the sewers, though? Oh, and so that's it. Alright. No, the sewers has been covered up. The portal is still there, though. Brings you to the uh, Dalaran sewers. Oh, actually, you can still get in. No, sorry. So sort the of grate here under the opening. I thought you could still get in this way. You can't. Sewers have been, at least for now, sealed off. And solved. Kind of waiting for this to go poorly, considering, you know, the whole we'll fuck reality in the arse kind of, you know, message here. Then again, maybe it's just flavor text more than nothing. Here's hoping. Just love the ladder working trainers just outside, dual wielding knives. It's ready to shank a demon. These things just keep on coming. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. I send magic missile at the anomalies. Solves everything. Yeah, that's another way down into the sewers. Didn't use it much, though. Stable energy. Oh, oh, so this is the former leader, the Kintora, that Ronin Hin guy. He died when the Horde bombed Terramor. He saved uh, Jaina, but died himself to the Mana Bomb. There's a little outhouse out here. It's interesting. Kind of strange. It makes sense for them to have an outhouse, but outside the city walls, 
Like, imagine trying to get out to that place. I suppose they could just teleport, but... I'm just, I just like the idea of someone trying to climb out to it. Just like... They really need to go, and they have to go through this, like... Stupidly you know, convoluted way of... You know, getting take, take a leak or whatever. Oh. Ah, uh, oh, cool. It was actually showing me on the map where the anomalies were. I just didn't notice. Interesting. Let's hope the game keeps that up. Could be useful. It was, it was just when I got nearby, it would be like a yellow dot on the map. Also, here is the... Oh, he's now considered an Archmage. This is the current... Um, as, uh, uh, leader of the Blue Dragon fight. The Aspect of Magic or whatever. He's considered an Archmage and member of the Kintor. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Kalik. Um, yeah, he's actually a dragon. Makes sense he'll be associated with the Kintor. He's, he's you know, leader of Dragonflight. I think he took over Malgos's role as being the leader, you know, this is being the, you know, art, the dragon aspect of magic. So, yeah. So anyway, all these are back. Um, the p uh, people we saw from earlier. Anyway. Uh, good work. There's still some stray anomalies floating about, but you've negated enough interference that we should no longer be prevented from relocating the city. Now we just need to determine our destination. Let me make sure I can actually... Yeah, I'm actually still recording. I just adjusted the... Um, uh, there's a little bit of a... Um, a Velcro cable. Uh, a Velcro thing on the mic cable, and I just want to make sure that it's, I'm still recording, uh, my audio is still going, I'm still recording. I didn't, like, unplug the USB or anything, but it, I'm just paranoid. And since I got war paranoid, I'm, like, failing to make sure that like, the cable's in, which makes me more worried that I've, like, somehow adjusted enough that shit's gonna go down. <laughs> no matter what I do, I get worried, basically, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, the um, a thing here is taking up, saying it's enco encoding frame. If there's so many frames encoded every second or so. It's taking up, saying 30 more frames have been added. Uh, which I'm recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally. That's fine. The mic is going up and isn't muted in the slightest. Um, the other audio isn't going up because nothing's playing, but it's not muted either. Um, Every open is what's the only thing should be open. All is well. Now let's continue. Uh, de determine our destination. All right. We've reviewed the tome recovered from Karazan. Though we, uh, though we found references to the pillars of creation, one crucial piece of information was omitted from the book: where to find the artifacts. Fortunately, we've access to an expert on the subject: the author. Adelai was the first guardian of Terrasville. His spirit is forever bound to the forge of the guardian, which has been hidden in our safekeeping. I think the time has come to call him for it. Trust in yourself, champion. Um, interesting, just like a divine, uh, some shielding with like, like blue firewalks in. Sounds like a start of a weird joke. Some shielding with blue firewalks into a bar, and the barman says. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm not paid enough for this. Anyway. I will summon the spirit of Adelaide, the first ter guardian of Terrasville. Let me know when you would like me to begin. Begin the summoning. Without you, will surely fall. I call forth the spirit of the first guardian. Huh, that was easy. Greetings, Adelaide. I'm Khadgar, Archmage of the current... I know of you. The apprentice who refused to wear the mantle I once wore. What do you need of me? Phew, he doesn't like him. The Burning Legion has returned. They stopped them, we scoured the library of Karazan for a tome you ordered called the Notable Antiquities of Ancient Azeroth. We are seeking five ancient artifacts called the Pillars of Creation. Your writing didn't specify where to find them. That was probably intentional. Of course not. The pillars represent primordial power. Even as guardian, I, I dare not trifle with them. Finding these artifacts is crucial. The pillars are the only thing that can seal the Legion's portal in the tomb of Sergeris. 
Very well. My research led me to the Broken Isles, although I never found their exact locations. I believe the pillars lie in the hands of the peoples of that ancient land. That, that, that gives us a place to start, at least. We'll need to search every inch of the Broken Isles if need be. But who knows if that's still true? Uh, it's been a long time since he was the Guardian, I think. You must take, make haste to find them. In the Legion hands, the pillars of creation could unleash untold devastation upon our world. Good luck. But yeah, it, that might, might no longer hold true. Um, that was kind of weird, the despawning. He kind of lost a bit of his ghostly look for a moment there. Um, hair changed color. But anyway, uh, at least it seemed like it did. But yeah, it might no longer hold true, depending on how long, like it was hundreds of years ago and all that. Like, remember Medivh's mom? She was, like, was guardian for a few hundred years. If he's been, you know, guarding a few thousand years ago, maybe the pillars are no longer in the control of the people who have them. Maybe they're destroyed now. Probably not. But uh, other, you know, titan stuff has been shite. What's to say the pillars aren't? We may not have the exact location of the pillars of creation, but at least we know where to start. We'll explore every corner of the Broken Isles until they're recovered. The Legion's attack is intensifying. We must prepare to move Dalaran to the Broken Isles. You are our last to the Broken Isles. And that was the quest. Order, order. I find that kind of a funny name, honestly. Give us time to prepare, Palanai. Protect the city from the Legion, or use your map to find an invasion to stop. When the time is right to begin, I'll call... I'll, I'll, I will call for you. Um... That won't be re released until the release of Legion, that quest. You won't be able to do that until then. So in uh, f for five uh, in five days for me, bit longer for you. Depends on um, how many episodes this. Um, oh, turns out to be, I guess. Let's see. Is there still a place over here? Yeah. What's this called again? Does this have a name? I swore it did. Actually, I think I was thinking of the Dalaran camp, the Karen Tor camp below. Me. Also, isn't it strange that the first Archmage knows of Khadgar? And, you know, you think he wouldn't be exactly up to date ish on current events? Well, I suppose he didn't know about the. What was going on with the, uh, you know, Burning Legion invasion? So I suppose he wasn't that up to date. Okay, actually, let's just go in here and grab a portal back to um, uh, better place. Yeah, Stormwind. For a moment there, the music there made me think of the. Um, you know, um, will meant to the highborn. That music. Uh, vaguely, there's something about the style of it. So anyway, um, just need to pop over here, get a portal to Northern Barons, and I'll um, go deal with that place. Huh. Yet again, we've taken Tol Barad. Nice. Earlier in this uh, session, I noticed we'd taken it. I didn't comment on it. A uh, little interest in it. And now we've taken it again. So, cool. Okay, so just looking at the NPCs here. I never really noticed them, them before. Huh. Oh, Awful Joe. Cool. That's a um, Warlord's pet, I believe. Uh, you get it if you get enough... Um, things. Um, what what do you call it? Get in if you get it if you get enough cooking stuff or something. It's some related to cooking, and I believe it, it can actually work as a you know a campfire kind of thing. I think I don't know. I vaguely remember hearing stuff about it, but I don't remember anymore. You know what I'm going to fly into this portal, as I have no idea what it's about. Might do nothing, might do something. 